Django is such a powerful framework. From coming to its admin panel to the way it handles all the projects and the file structures. It gives also a better GUI and a better security for the security purposes. After finishing Python, it will be a good start towards Python web development. In this series of videos, we are going to explore Django Basics. On the way to explore Django Basics, we are going to create this awesome beautiful websites. This website is will be your portfolio website. This website contains all the about con, about of yourself, your experience, your education, your skills, your interest and the hours you have won. After finishing this basic course, you will be able to know a better knowledge in Django and you can make your own project and the output of this series to you have your own website and the final we are going to host this website in a global cloud okay so you will use python in your hand for that i will teach you how you can deploy your own portfolio website on the cloud okay so this is this is what i am planning for django basics and in our next trade sessions we are going to more explore more by creating a blog application then we will we will be using a e-commerce website we will build uh, like that i am going to explore a lot with you and coming to django what is django django is a free open source web application framework written in python so what is a framework framework is nothing more than a collection of modules that makes development easier they are grouped together and allow you to create application or websites from an exciting source instead of the scratch it means that uh, if you are going to start a project then you don't have to start it from the scratch because uh, you have to do the common things so what django does is django keep all the common things in a modules packages and we, we are going to use that packages and we are going to apply that to our work next stage how we are going to install django and so the command for installing django by pp is pip install django before going to django i will make you know that please if you have not completed python course please complete that i have also that session please attend that after that you have to you have installed uh, python after that you can install django okay so pip install django will be the command we are going to use so for that open command prompt cmd okay i am going to open command prompt and i am going to pip install django okay so hitting enter it will install django i have installed so it is not going to install in my system in your case it is going to install okay so that's what we are going to explain i think it makes you interesting uh, if it please give a thumbs up and i will wish you will finish this session and i can assure you you will learn a lot and you will have a great product finishing by this website thank you Stay tuned.